you and I are going to talk. What you want? Excuse me? What I want is for you to sit there and listen to me for a sec. Now, I just got the phone with your principal. Anything you want to tell me before I continue? Asshole. What did you just say? I uh, know I did not just hear you disrespecting your elders, especially your principal. The man's an asshole, mama. I don't care if he's a man who read out your daddy. You don't go around disrespecting nobody, you hear me? But. There ain't no buts in this, JJ. I know I didn't raise you to go around with a filthy mouth like that telling people to F this and F that. What's the matter with you? That's how we talk. That's not how we talk. You hear Ruby talking like that? You want your kids to be talking like that? Do you have any idea how hard it was for your daddy to get a job when we first came here? You're going to go to a job interview and tell your boss to shut the hell up if he asks you to do something you don't like? This ain't funny, JJ. Why you got to go around like that with those friends of yours? You of all people should know what this family has gone through. When am I supposed to tell your daddy when you walk through those cell doors that you follow right into his footsteps? Is that how you want to leave things behind? This is how you want people to remember you? I got to go, Mama. Well, I ain't done talking to you yet. Now, these friends of yours, they ain't your friends. You think you're going to be able to depend on them once you get into trouble? You think they won't run in the opposite direction, leave you out to dry? They're my friends, Mama. That's what they tell you, JJ. Now, you tell me, what good have they done? Because I don't see them serving dinner at a homeless shelter, Kachuban society. Now, I didn't say anything when you stopped coming us to church. And I didn't say anything when you quit the track team. But I am saying something now. Boy, you have changed. And I do not like what I am seeing. Now, come look at yourself. I said, look at yourself. You want to know what I see? I see a young man who looks so much like his father, it's scary. I see a handsome man with all the potential, but none of the drive. The choices are yours, JJ, but right now you are making the wrong ones. You know how special you are? Honey, you are all I have left now. I don't want to lose you like I have your father and your sister. I can't take no more heartbreaks, and it will kill your grandma Ruby. Now, I know I can't take the place of your father, but I need you to know how special you are. I love you, JJ. Your sister loves you, and Ruby loves you. You just gotta love yourself. You don't. I don't what? You think I don't love you? How can you say that? You don't. Why do you think I'm be trying to hold down three jobs? I work myself to the bone for you and your sister, for you. And how do you thank me? You go out of all hours of the night and have no idea where you are or what you're doing. I can't sleep at night anymore because I'm afraid the same thing is going to happen to you to happen to your sister. I don't need your help. You're never here. You don't even care. What, what are you saying? Where are you getting this from? Who is putting this in your head? I got things to do. Where are you going? I'm still talking to you. I'm out, streetwise. Hey, yo, Nisha. Kilo, how you doing? I came to talk to you about your boy. Runner? What about him? You done us good, Nisha. Here you go. Woo, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. That is what I am talking about. You think you can get us some more? Baby, you know with this body, I can get whatever I want, whenever I want. That's good, but is he treating you right? He will be now that he got some dollars coming in. But just, just don't go expecting no diamond rings, because I ain't trying to go to no wedding. Keep it wise, baby. Keep it wise. Streets in, the streets out. You got tall. It happens. Yeah, it does. How's your mama? You taking care of her? You got lots of responsibility now, you know that, right? Your sister gone. 
You're just going to sit there and not say anything? I can play this game too. You know what they used to call me when I was your age? The win. You know why they used to call me the win? Because when I was on that field, down on that starting line, waiting for that gun to go off, they said I could sprint like the wind. <laughs> Man, there ain't nothing like hearing that gun go off and leaving those other lousy suckers in the dust, you know. I used to love running. I miss it. Sometimes at night, I can still feel myself running in the cool air. You miss it too? Ever wonder what you could have been? Come on, I know you do. One thing I will say, you sure got your daddy's stubborn side. <laughs> Boy, did you. I bet you make your mama plenty frustrated with that. Yeah, I know I did. Boy, she can be a... Why we got to talk about mama? Okay. All right. Then what is it you would like to talk about, Junior? Don't be calling me that. Well, then what should I be calling you? I thought you were named after me, which makes you a junior, don't it? My name is Runner. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Runner? Boy, you got your head so far up your butt, you can't even see the sunshine no more. Runner. Now that's a good one. Don't be laughing at me. You know where you're running? Right in here, just like your daddy. <laughs> That's what you think. I got a job with money coming in. I got a girl coming in. Hot. And how much of that money is being made honestly? How much of it's being made running? Runner. Yeah, that's what I thought. You like having to watch your back all the time? You like living like that? I got my brothers. <laughs> your brothers? Now that's funny. I thought it was just you and your sister. Then again, now it's just you. So who are these brothers you talking about? Your street brothers? Is that who you're talking about? Because they ain't your brothers, boy. They ain't your brothers. You don't know shit. Oh, I don't? Do you see where you are? Look around you. You see any windows, any sunshine, any HBO? This ain't the buffet, bruh. You lucky there's a wall of glass between us, or I would smack you right upside your head. Where's your sense, boy? I know your mama didn't raise no dummy. And I know Ruby don't let you get away with this kind of crap. I don't know nothing. No, you don't know nothing. I ain't got to sit here and listen to this. Well, sit yourself down. We ain't done talking yet. Now, I'm going to tell you why I do know something, and you're going to listen. You understand? I said, do you understand? Boy, look at me when I'm talking to you. Now, I asked you a question. Do I have to repeat it a third time? No, sir. I Good. Understand. You know who it was asked you to come here today? It wasn't your mother. It was your grandma, Ruby. She is worried to death about you. She tells me you've been running around with all kinds of bad news. Is that true? You've been getting in trouble, tagging houses, running drugs, beating others. Oh, you don't have to answer. I can see it in your face. But let me ask you a serious question, man to man. What you want to do with your life? Where do you see yourself in five years, in 10? I don't know. Well, can I take a guess? Let me see. You see yourself at the top of some set, telling others what to do, who to hit, and taking a nice cut off the top from those who work for you. Am I right? Yeah, sounds good, doesn't it? You like that idea, having others work for you and taken from them, stepping on those like you being stepped on now. Ain't nothing wrong with that. What? 
Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Boy, are you high? You can't see what's wrong with that whole way of thinking? Let me tell you what's going to happen with that way of thinking. Oh, it's going to be fine in the high life for a while. The partying, the girls, the brothers, family, money rolling in like a shiny new car you can show to everybody. The guns, the drugs. Yeah, sounds good to me, man. I've been there. I provided for your mother, your sister, Ruby, you. I know what it's like to feel a gun in your hand, that feeling of power, and knowing that your brothers will be there to back you up. You know that $31 you pay every month? You know where that money goes? You know those 31 rules you're supposed to follow? You think they get followed by everyone? And how many of them rules you done broke already? Fronting, using, talking down on other sets because they ain't as bad as you, sleeping with your homie's girl, disrespecting your elders. Now that one you broke the moment you came in here. That ain't gonna happen to me. How do you know? That's what I told myself too. It ain't gonna happen. How are you gonna guarantee that? Let me tell you something. Those brothers that you care so much about, they will run in the opposite direction the first chance they get. You be in a gunfight, you look around, and all of a sudden, you're by yourself. Next thing you know, you're lying in a hospital bed, handcuffed to the rail, and you can't move from the waist down. Do you know what that's like? Not being able to go for a walk? You have to be carried to go relieve yourself. Let's say you make it to the top. Then what? You're so scared everybody's out to get you that you don't even go out. You hold up someplace nasty and dirty because you know the moment you step out into the light, you're going to get a bullet in your head by somebody who's waiting to be right where you are. Your body dumped in some ditch on the side of the road and all for what? to die alone, wise in, wise out, right? Man, sometimes I wish I'd gotten a bullet in the head instead. You know you can be killed talking like that. Boy, I'm already dead. How did it go? Fine. That's good, right? Good. You got a lot to do tonight. Lo says you got a job. That's cool. And? And? We got to go back to that house that you shot up and teach that lady and get a lesson. She's going around talking to the cops, and we are not going to be messed with. What are you talking about? Are you serious? What are you talking about? You seriously don't remember shooting up that house? The one that you tagged? The one where you killed that girl? I didn't think you were that high. Oh, sh Gracie! Excuse me? You don't leave me here! Where's Mama? She's resting. I have to talk to her. No, you 
leave her alone. Let her, let her rest. She's been through a lot. We mm. all have. I'm giving a message that you were here. You don't understand. I understand more than you think. Now that you're here, sit down and let's have a chat. I don't have the time. You're going to deny your grandmother the time to spend with a grandson? Sit down. You never knew your grandfather, did you? <laughs>